Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Styx Master of Shadows. So, uh, it's a, a sort of indie, sort of triple-A, I guess a double-A. Uh, I don't even know, quadruple-A. Uh, stealth action title made by Cyanide Studios and published by whomever published Bound by Flame. Anyway, let's go with normal. I'm not feeling like I want it to be too easy, and I don't want it to be too hard. Hopefully it won't be, uh... Hopefully it won't be too ridiculous. The thing I have with uh, games published by this studio, and I'm forgetting the name of it, they always end up tending to be uh, ridiculously hard or grindy or some some weird difficulty scaling thing. Oh, interesting. I actually have to press A to get out of this screen. This is a nice screen. The atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors, and they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret, the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise, these voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head. For all these years, it took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less, and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it. While I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree. It's why I'm here. That, at least, I'm sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop you away. And it starts now. All right, beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. 
Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. the tree yeah oh this headache what I, where was I shit my brain is an anvil yeah yeah the heart of the tree what did I do with my dagger I feel naked without my dagger I gotta find it quick is there a sprint button in this game nope there's roll there's jump Let's see, okay. You're very agile, you can jump hang on to anchor plates or ledges using the jump button. Hold the jump button and remain hanging from there. Much without climbing up. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It seems fairly basic to me. Uh so, okay. First and foremost, this game is actually a prequel to the game made by the same studio called Uh like of Orcs and Men, which is kind of uh interesting game. Do Never really the Duncan found. I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the back of his, uh, of his... You must be talking about my dagger. It can't be far away. The back of his tunic got uh, caught on something, so the, the texture just got, like, weird and warped. I guess the texture and the model. Ooh, vial of life. Oop. Let's pick I that up. Drink this flask. It would perk me up a little. Well, I guess it gets us up to full health. And well, more climbing, I guess. Huh. How did I get up the first time? All right. Okay. So anyway, prequel to of orcs and men, and never actually played that one. Let's see. I can't defend myself. I'll stay out of sight until I find my dagger. Okay, to move covertly, crouching will soften your footsteps. This is the best way to surprise or avoid enemies. For be careful where you put your feet. Enemies will react if you knock into objects. Okay, so crouch is a toggle-based ability. Also, he's sleeping, so I can pretty much just walk straight by him conveniently. Also, apparently falling down like that hurt me. That's a little bit disappointing for a stealth-based game. I'm not going to be able to, uh... Give a whole lot of prelude to this game. Oh well. You're a master of shadows, the more you stay in the dark, the less chance there is of being detected. Your tattoo will light up to indicate when you are less likely to be seen. You can also extinguish torches to create darkness in places that are lit, but enemies may notice. Always keep to the shadows and walk where it doesn't make too much noise. Avoid running and farting. <laughs> uh, how do I... Where am I even going? Uh-oh. I'll just hide over here for a second. Hopefully they won't notice me. Found nothing suspicious. Nothing to <laughs> I don't even... Okay. It was nothing. All right. Oh, I'm supposed to activate the gate mechanism. Well, hopefully they don't hear that. The world tree. It seems so close. It's a mirage. It's so big that it seems to be close. But I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Baron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> so, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. 
I'm not sure how to think about this game. Gotta be sneaky here. If I stay under there, I won't be seen. I'm not sure how to think about this game in terms of like writing and stuff. He seems a little bit cavalier, which surprises me a little bit. I believe I can get around and under here without getting spotted. Beautiful. And from there, I should be able to get by. It looks like none of these guys are particularly observant, which is kind of nice. I'm uh, a little bit concerned about getting spotted, though. I'm used to stealth games with a little bit more robust uh, notifications for how stealth works, and unfortunately... Ah, there's my dagger. I was afraid that I lost you, my beauty. Okay. Mm, there are maps of the zone stuck up here. They might be useful for finding a way to the tree. Let's see. We got maps of the area. I'll need more than that to get what I want. Okay. Oh, interesting. So I can actually view through a keyhole and look around. Looks like this door is completely safe. Oh. Am I using my finger to pick the lock? I'm kind of okay with that. It takes a long time, though, but I guess that's more realistic than... Uh, Say Fallout or something. Uh oh. Oh wait, that's over there. Okay, good. Don't have to worry about getting spotted. And do I hop down there? Nope, where do I go? Oh, I go up here. Okay, that's convenient. So some amount of this game is going to be <laughs> me just confusedly going in directions because unfortunately, since this game is not truly that much of a AAA title, it doesn't exactly highlight the way you're supposed to go very well as I walk through a bunch of glowing uh, mushrooms. Assassin's walking. rule number one. Always strike from behind. Especially when the fucker is twice your size. And remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, I see. I can't leave this stiff lying around. That would be messy. <laughs> and yet there's blood. Well, it's got some interesting mechanics, and I actually kind of like that. It's, it's, um, I, I guess I've been playing a lot of Shadow of Mordor lately, which involves a lot of sneaking. Uh-oh. Might actually have to fight this fellow. Nope. Well, let's pick up a potion. At the very least, we have one sitting around for later, but I think I'm actually going to have to fight this guy. Ow. Well... Uh, how? Okay. So I guess I'm supposed to parry him and then murder him. That's... Huh. Interesting. Let's just plop the body over here. So, if that's all the difficulty is going to be, I might actually end up cranking the difficulty down. Just because I'm not exactly, uh... I'm not thrilled with the combat thus far. That seemed really bad. Like, really bad. And maybe I'll get lucky and, you know, there are very few forced combat sections, so I can largely be sneaky and assassiny, which would be very appreciated, but, uh, you never know what to... All right. Let's keep going. Never know how to feel about these games. Anyway, let's quickly heal up. Oh, jeez, those don't even heal, to heal you to Sand, fall. a little spit. That could put that torch out from here. <laughs> Pocket sand. Okay, uh, switch item. Ah! Use, uh, use item. There we go. And looks like you can only carry around five things of sand at once. Let's see if I can hit the other one. Oh, hey. I can hide in these things. Sweet. Now, ideally, it'd be convenient if I could actually murder this guy. Nope, looks like there are two of them. Can I... Oh. Sand that. Now, do these guys notice? The answer is no. Uh oh. Question is, are they going to notice me? Nope. Okay. So I'm a little bit concerned about getting through here. We've got three guards. Might be able to. Aha! I guess I can just sneak through this direction and no problem at all. I kind of wish there was like shadow sight in this game. Maybe, maybe we get that later. That would be nice. It'd be helpful. Okay. So I see two guards. Uh oh. And this guy's going to be passing directly by my position. So ideally, I'd like to be able to murder them, but making no bets here. 
Yep, I'm very glad I was not standing there just for a second. That would have made this real hard. We're also kind of injured, which I'm not exactly excited about. Let's see, if he turns around, they both turn around. I might actually have to kill these guys. Hmm. Oh. He patrols around, though. Yeah, some level of shadow sight would be nice. So we've got that guy. Okay. Nope. If they both patrol, how the hell am I supposed to get through here? I guess maybe I can get through and around and over. Either that or all of these guys are far less observant than I think. And just as long as I'm in the darkness, I'm okay. Okay. I might as well replenish my sand while I'm here, come to think of it. Don't know when we get a refill, and might as well. Oh, I can hide, hide under these tables, so what we can do... Wow. They are blind as... I'll get out. I have to say, I like the character design, though. That's well done. What I'm actually going to do is keep sneaking under the tables. Come on. There we go. Can I go around? Aha! Yep, I can, in fact, go along the outside around here. I'm still going to have to go through this direction. Oh, he kind of spotted me, but I'm going to get away well before he ever even spots me. More guards. I stay hidden behind this barrel. It should be fine. Okay. Oh, red trigger, take cover. Interesting. Jeez, that guy's up chucking pretty hard. Okay. Uh-oh. Please don't turn around. Be appreciated. Awesome. Okay, let's keep going. Looks like we got several more guards along the way. How the hell? I don't think I'm going to be able to kill them. Is there a way of going up and over? Nope. I don't think I'm going to be able to assassinate those guys. Oh, I see. Go around. And... Oh, shit. Well, they spotted me. Let's see if they just never notice me here. Either that or I can just assassinate him as he goes around the corner. Or they just... Well, that... Hmm. Oh, hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I guess, A, walking in front of this guy, not actually a good move. Oh, he's... What the hell is this guy doing? What are they doing? Um. Hmm. 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 I think I got myself in a really bad position here. Really, really bad position. I mean, I could potentially pop around to the other side? I think he's gonna notice me. What? Alright. Let me guess. No, nope, he's not gonna see me there. Show yourself. I won't hurt you. Oh, somebody else spotted me. I guess it's just time to go this direction and hope for the best. Whew. I wish we could do sand on the move. Okay. Whew. Hey, I can go through the door. <laughs> I have no idea how I managed to succeed at that without ever getting spotted. I'm totally okay with that. So, SB skill points allow you to unlock new skills. When you are in your hideout, you gain them by completing missions and also completing secondary objectives and unlocking by unlocking insignia. You can view the skills menu at any time. Leave the zone! Sweet! Huh. That was stressful. I am uh, not good at stealth games, apparently. <laughs> I'm good at certain types of stealth games. I'm good at stealth games with a little bit more robust... Uh, Notification mechanics, which, I mean, realistically, kind of breaks immersion, but uh, makes it a little bit easier on me. Anyway. Oh, my head. Fuck. I gotta get me some amber. Yeah. That, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? Uh-oh. Okay. So we got both of these guys. Oh, right. I'd really like to study these cocoons more closely, it would be fascinating. Ah, uh, quite so, my dear colleague. I'd be willing to give my complete edition of the encyclopedia of my colleague. You're telling me, eh? One doesn't dissect the embryos of one's political allies, I suppose. 
Okay. A quick peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. Let's see. No one to the right, no one to the left. For the time being. Let's just hope that those scientists don't decide to come back around for us. I like the fact that we have 360 degree vision. But then again, I kind of hate first person first person e stealth games. Even though I have Dishonored and very much would like to um, uh, record that at some point. That'll be kind of like a my own thing at a Emma, later date. I gotta get some now. My head is gonna explode. <laughs> so, oh, clones. Thanks to Amber, you can create and control a clone. You can cl use a clone to enter areas that are inaccessible or distract your enemies. Once a clone has served its purpose, you can destroy it and recover Amber. The life of a clone is short. Once their limit is reached, they die by themselves. Left trigger A, create a clone and switch. And left trigger B, destroy said clone. Neat. wonder how that works. I guess I can kind of create it wherever. What's this over here? Oh, that must be an insignia. Note to self, keep an eye out for glowy things. Let's see if there's one back over this direction. Realistically, I'm probably going to have to redo some missions just to get them all. Just because not always the most observant person. Anyway, left trigger. And, oh. Those are interesting abilities. Well, I got no choice. I'll need some help. Okay, clone interaction. Clones that you create... Uh, can interact with most of the elements with their environment. In particular, that it may pass under gates, activate levers, open doors, and hide, and more. However, they are unable to pick up items and pick locks. All right, Hello, control our clone. Cash. I need your run carcass. Ugh. Damn it, I hate doing that. Well, this is a little bit on the freaky side of things. So, I think at this point, let's... Hmm... Probably destroy the clone. Oh, wait, no, I think I need to get the next one, too. What's this? No, oh, we got that guy over there. Yeah, let's destroy said clone and yeah. get some of our amber back. Want something done right? Steal a body and do it yourself. <laughs> okay, so we got a mechanism over there. Unfortunately, it's guarded by a guard. So what we're going to do is left trigger. A, can I? Oh, nope. Can't use it while I'm under one of these. What I think I'm going to do is... Really hoping I could... Oh, maybe if I'm behind this statue, he won't spot me. Thus far? Seems like he won't. Okay. Let's control Cyclone. Let's see if I can go around behind this guy. Okay. So now, now he's patrolling. It looks like it's just him, which is good. Because that means... What's up, dude? Take him out, no more problems. No, uh, mo money, no problems, except for it's not really money. Can I loot this guy? Nope, there's no looting in this game. Honestly, I find that a little bit disappointing. Let's just plop him over here. Yep, yep, totally taking a nap. Totally taking a nap. Now we have some torches, don't really need anything. What the heck is this thing? It's like a confessioner's box. Or just the seating arrangement. I don't know, whatever, doesn't matter that much. So because we lost our clone... Oh, it's gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. You know what? Before we go on to uh, stabbing quite literally everybody in this area, I think I'm actually going to say goodbye for now. It's a great stopping point, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Sticks: Master of Shadows, where, like I said, we'll go around stabbing everyone. Seriously, everyone. No survivors. See you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching.